on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Um, Izuku, where are you going with all those carrots? Uh, um, just going to meet with a friend. Um, are you sure? Because those are a lot of carrots. Don't tell me you're, uh, planning on going to the Pang Zoo alone to feed the rabbits. No. Um, should I go with you? Um, um, uh, they're, sh they're shy. Okay, have fun. Is yes, Iku is worried, but she trusts Izuku. <sighs> Okay. Um. So, do you remember your name yet? That's just meow. That's 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 pretty much all. That's all Ryoki can say. Izuku still doesn't know her name, or that's a girl. <laughs> hmm. Well, at least. We know you like carrots. Do you want to be named Carrot? Just shaking her head no. Hmm. So, where are you from? Pointing up to the sky. You mean heaven? No. Um, space? Not yet. <laughs> yes! Is this good being how he is as a kid? He believes it. He's okay. That's, that's amazing. How do you do that? Okay. Mm. See. Oh, it's a secret. Mm -hmm. All right, I understand. As yes, Izuku, a five-year-old Izuku. That's pretty much it. All he really does is pretty much spend time with Ryoki. Playing with her, feeding her carrots, just being best. However, one day, Bakugo and his lackeys show up. They were curious to how Izuku hasn't been spending time at the park or anything, playground, or so they just got curious, wondering, huh, did he make some new friends? Like, who will be friends with him? type thing. Upon seeing Ryoki that <laughs> Oh we're about to mess up this man's whole day. Which as soon as he comes back next he notices Ryoki's gone, but out from the shadows steps Bakugo and his friends. The fat one being the one holding Ryoki. And Izuku is begging, he's pleading, please put them down, don't hurt it. It's just an animal, at the very least. It's not his dead warrant as soon as it decides to hang out with you. But instead of just turning around, Again, Izuku's heroic instincts kick in as he starts fighting Bakugo and his friends. Thing is, he's still losing. Don't get me wrong, he's still Izuku, he's still losing. But he's learned about Bakugo's fighting style, so he's been more in analytical. He knows Bakugo's quirk is amazing. He knows that it's not as strong as it could be. But taking on a, another kid, that's too easy. So once he starts throwing punches and they start hit landing, Bakugo is stunned. He's like, I can't believe you actually hit me. 
This is when Stretchy Fingers decides to step in and restrain Izuku. Him thinking, you know what? These are my fingers. Him falling back, breaking Stretchy Fingers. Him screaming and crying. Bakugo shocked at the savagery of a young Izuku. As yes, this fight continues on for several minutes. The boy with the wings, the big one, he's pretty much enough of this or else I'm dropping this little rat thing. As yes, Izuku has no choice but I give up. And yes, this is when Bakugo takes full advantage. He punches, he kicks, he starts exploding Izuku over and over again. But this makes Ryaoki mad. She knows that she could kill everyone easily, greasily. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But she doesn't want Izuku to get hurt or worse. So she bites, Izuku pushes Bakugo out of the way, catches her, then begins his run. He's tired, Ryoki knows this, but if she transforms into a spaceship then it's like, oh dear, wait, I'm supposed to be laying low. Ain't no one supposed to know I'm here. Well, the galaxy police, well, the royal family show up. Ugh. Hey, I need to stay hidden until my sister could come pick me up, type thing. So, yeah. It's pretty much Izuku protecting Ryoki the best he can. To the point where he's he's running out of options. He's getting too tired. If he, He's going to have to rely on his adrenaline for a fight and flight response. And which... Yeah, what ends up happening is he hides Ryoki and makes his last stand with Bakugo and the winged boy. At the end of the day, Bakugo, he has some scrapes some bruising and whatnot. His arms are killing him from overusing his quirk. The winged boy, since Izuku can't really fight in the air like him he just throws rocks right into his wings making it so he has to come down and it works and Izuku with all of his strength starts wailing on both of them Bakugo is shot like how is he still able to fight I'm stronger I have a quirk how is he beating me and to the point they just run off the stretcher fingers boy, he already went home crying. Izuku, proud of his victory, is exhausted and falls asleep. To only to be woken up by Ryaoki, pretty much licking his face. Though he's tired, he can still crack in a smile. And though he can't understand Ryoki per se, he knows Ryoki is grateful. <sighs> well, but I'm sorry about Kotsky and his friends. It should have <coughs> happened. Uh, yeah, she's she's worried about him. It's the fact that oh, this is my fault. Oh, because I was friends with him. I'm so sorry. That's what she's trying to say, but Izuku, he's like, <sighs> it's all because you're my friend. So maybe we shouldn't. Him seeing the tears form in Ryoki's face, they please don't, please be my friend. He's a good feeling like, uh, but you'll get hurt. You'll get even more hurt if we can't be friends. <sighs> well, I made my choice. Huh. <sighs>
You know what? I'm going to sleep. As, yeah, that's pretty much how that ends. Weizuku and Ryoki just relaxing as much as they can. When it comes to Bakugo and his friends trying anything again, they technically don't. In fact, when Izuku does go home, everyone's looking at him. He sees the mother of the stretchy fingers as well as the fly boy and everything. Hi, did you break my son's fingers? I... <clears throat> yes, why? They were trying to hurt my friend. Friend? What friend? Is Izuku doesn't want to disclose Ryooki? Was this weird cat, rat, rabbit thing? Inko hearing this. So that's what you were. That's what the carrots were for. Yes. Oh, Izuku, you should have told me. I would love to see your friend. Hmm. However, you did say that they were shy. So I suppose it makes sense. Hmm. Sorry, I should have told you sooner. Hmm. It's fine. It's... Oof. I'm just surprised. Huh. I really do wonder. What? <clears throat> oh, nothing. But if anything, you heard him. He was protecting his friend from. Wait, does this mean Izuku has Kasuki and his friends been bullying you? Shit. Uh. What are you talking about? Tell the truth. Uh, Izuku. What did my brat do? Ah. Then they get a better look at him. They see he's partially healed somehow. Even Bago's a little surprised. But then it's... Yes... Hmm. Should have known. <laughs> so, at the very least, it looks like you got what you deserved, huh? Uh, but, Mom, shut it. I thought I taught you to treat others like how you want to be treated, but, hmm. Looks like you're going to need another lesson. Uh, please don't. As yes, that's how that ends. Izuku, he's off the hook, of course. Of course. And Kasuki and his friends are pretty much... Yeah, they're all in trouble. But there's... There's no leeway for them. Considering how long this has possibly been going on. And Izuku continues to see Ryaoki. Only thing is, it's like, mm, should I? Mm, I I'm not sure if Ryoki would. As yeah, Inko is right beside Izuku now. Uh, mm. Mom, before you say anything, I promise I'll, I'll be as non-threatening as possible. <laughs> Upon seeing Ryaoki, 
Iko could only say one thing. Cute! As she instinctively runs in and hugs Ryoki, Ryoki's scared as she faces through Inko and runs right up to Izuku. She scares me. Oh, don't worry, my mom isn't scary per- Oh! Wait, you- You talk? Oh yeah. I could use telepathy. Yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, so we could have been talking this whole time? Yeah, apparently, but like I said, I forgot. <sighs> That's so amazing. Huh. Uh, Izuku? What's going on? Oh, um, you see, apparently Ryoki can, I can use telepathy to talk with everyone. Uh, uh, you serious? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh. Huh, that's helpful. Yeah, and then yes, Ryoki just starts floating away, just just floating to Eco and says, I'm i so, I'm sorry, I was just a little shy. I didn't mean to No no, it makes sense. You, you didn't know who I was. Uh, but it's nice that we can finally talk. Hmm. So, tell me more about yourself. Mm, I don't know. <sighs> it's okay, Mom. She... Wait. You are she. Wait. <clears throat> that makes... Oh, my goodness. I... I acted so rudely around the girl. What? I am so sorry for my behavior. <laughs> Are you saying... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's Izuku. That's Izuku, alright, yeah. Huh. Wow, that's... He is too nice. What... You raised him very well, but... <sighs> but if anything, you need to... And I, I mean this in the nicest way, but you need to toughen up if you want to be a hero. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, you're going to need to be a lot tougher if you want to go up against people who could be stronger than... Katsuki? Huh. Okay, but how do I really do that without a quirk? Easy! All you have to do is really, you know, work out. Gain muscle. I didn't notice from your fight that you actually did uh, hmm, pretty well against him. Almost like you knew how he fights. Actually, you do, don't you? Yes. <laughs> well, there you have it. So all I have to do is pretty much work out and work on my mind as well as... Yep, pretty much. I'm sure you could become a great hero. But <laughs> if you ever are able to get a quirk, or whatever these things are, it wouldn't hurt to have one. Huh. Okay. Thanks. Um, what's 
your name? Ryoki. It's nice to finally formally meet you, Izuku Madoya. Wait, you know my name? Of course. You say it countless times when you're trying to get my name, so. And you are? Inka Madoya. Well, it's nice to finally formally meet both of you.